Here's my first report from the National Sport Launch 2019, sponsored by National Association of Rocketry and Rocketry Organization of California. Congratulations to Rocketry Organization of California. Job well done on hosting the event. I worked on my fleet right up to the last minute, and yet it's still a very humble fleet. When you get to a launch like this where there's hundreds of flyers with magnificent rockets, giant rockets, huge rockets, high-flying rockets, my fleet is humble compared to those. So hats off to all the great flyers, lots of level 1, 2, and 3 certification attempts. Uh, congratulations to those that got their certifications. So uh, Friday, I packed up and drove uh, 400 and some odd miles to get to the Lucerne Dry Lake and stayed in a hotel overnight and shot out first thing Saturday morning to start flying. So this is the premier flight, the best flight for my fleet, the Super DX3, the largest rocket with the biggest camera and the biggest motor. And special thanks to James at RocketryWorks.com for being able to deliver this motor to the site. He was there all weekend with his full storefront. Uh, a lot of hard work from the vendors as well. Thanks to the vendors. Pad E5, Mad Cow Super DX3 with the J425. And he's got a camera. So everybody smile. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> So this is a pretty unique launch site, being a dry lake bed, there's absolutely zero vegetation. It's perfectly flat, so you can basically see for miles. This is a good place to fly rocketry attempts that you might not want to attempt anywhere else. Typically, at the launch sites that I'm familiar with, there's enough brush and trees, etc., that it's easy for you to lose your rockets behind something once they land. But here, no. You just see flat, dry lake bed forever, and <laughs> you can see your rocket miles away. So for this flight, Super DX3 opened a 60-inch parachute at Apogee. I'm estimating it got up to about 4,000 feet. So as the Super DX3 is drifting slowly down under that 60 inch parachute, you get a lot of nice booster photo bombs, and you even get to see a nice NSL 2019 family photo. Right before the landing, you get to see most of the folks there in attendance. So a really great flight. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I have so many stills to go through from all the videos that I took. So I'm not going to do the usual video collage. Look for the link below to Flickr where I have this wonderful 360 degree panorama right close to the top of the flight of the Super DX3. So check out that link, comment, like, share, subscribe. Thanks again.